everybody, my name is Farai Luke Mutabango. Um, I'm a father, I'm a husband, I'm a son, uh, I'm also a pastor, I'm a leader. I wear so many hats, so yeah. Well, I was actually born in Zimbabwe. In Arara and I've spent like two decades in Africa and I had a great time down there and I was born in an army barracks because my dad was in the army my wife and kids uh, my wife and kids uh, Princess Alina and Zion those are my three kids you know and I'm happily married. So that's just my little family unit. And on the other side, I was born in a family of six and I'm the fourth. I was five sisters. No, I got four sisters and one brother. So that makes us six. Well, I have so many hobbies. Um, I love playing tennis in the summer, you know. In the UK, we only get two days of summer, so I take the opportunity to take my wife out and then we play tennis together because she loves tennis and so do I. Um, you know, I always win, uh, but like that's one thing that I like doing. Um, and on the, there's so many things I like media, um, I like anything that's technological, you know. I'm a tech guy, you know, to those that know me, they know I love my tech, you know. The first thing that I'm passionate about is souls. I love souls. I love to see people being set free. I love to see people being saved. And I think after that, the other thing that I love is marriage. I love my marriage. I love other people's marriages. Uh, my heart breaks when marriages don't work because it, it, it just don't affect the people that are going through stuff but it affects everybody it affects the economy it affects the children it just affects the whole generation so i've got a very huge heart for marriages and the other thing that i'm passionate about is young people uh, because i do believe they're the future for tomorrow and i i cry for this generation because i want to see the the the, the, the people that have really run the race pour so much in the young people because our young people are out there and their hearts are open and i think um it is our job and our duty to actually be a vehicle that god is going to use in order for us to make sure that the young people get what they deserve from the older people and the other thing that i'm really really passionate about is media i do believe that my purpose is to align people to the will of the father as they discover their purpose and identity in god um, it, it's something that I personally had to go through and you know and I do believe that God has given me the grace to actually sit down and share not just my story but to share how God can work things out in order for you to firstly discover yourself in God secondly and find your purpose in God and be able to work it out and be able to execute your purpose so to say My worst fear is for anybody to discover purpose and don't fulfill it. The greatest fear for me is to know what I can do, but I won't be able to do it. That's just, it, it makes me cringe. I, oh, I don't like that feeling, you know, that's, it makes me fear, you know, that, whoa. I could be this, but I'm really reducing myself to be that. Twenty twenty has been great for me. I'm, I'm just, you know, over the moon. I don't panic. I know there's there's coronavirus. Twenty twenty, it's just been mad to other people, but for me, I take life so easy. I'm just like an easy going guy. I'm just so easy. I don't panic. 
am enjoying 2020. It's amazing. You know, it's really good. Um, I remember I crossed over last year and I was praying to God and I was like, God, you know what? I need a new job. I really needed a job. Guess what? Prayed for a job and I was like, I wanted something different, something absolutely out of my depth, something that was just really challenging and new and just fresh. And blah, blah, blah. This was 2020. God gave me a word as we did a crossover. God gave me a word and he said to me that um, 2020 is going to be a year of um open doors but i saw in a vision double doors sliding open that's when i saw the number 2020 but the 2020 was like two sliding doors open so god was like i'm gonna bring opportunities in your life in 2020 and all the things that you have prayed for i'm gonna answer your prayers it was something that i was written written down and i was just praying for it god i need a great job next year i need to go to uni and i need to have a boy i had three things on my list i needed to have a baby boy so applied for this job um got it got an interview i think after three days and then they gave me an interview on the 20th of january and then um i got the job on the 23rd of january which was my wife's birthday and then secondly this guy's wanted to the one actually the good the job the good thing about the job is these guys decided that um they're going to take me to university so i do certain courses that i wanted to do and i wanted to do them full time but because i didn't have the money to go to university and my prayer was like god i want to go to uni but i don't want to pay twenty one thousand pounds because i do not have 21k um our baby was due on the 20th so we wanted him to come on the 20th but unfortunately he came on the 19th and we really like had a great delivery you know it was amazing um and i was with my wife throughout the whole um process and tell you what like in the delivery room we didn't know whether we we're gonna have a boy or a girl we didn't even check and the baby came my mother-in-law was with me in the labor room and she just screamed, it's a boy, you know, and oh my God, I just melted, you know, I, just, I was in, in, in disbelief for three days, I just couldn't, I just couldn't process it in my head that I actually have a boy, because like, I was praying and I was like, God, I get it, like, you know, people will say, yeah, okay, a kid is a kid, but for me, for me, this is me, so don't judge me, so I was like, God, I needed a son i literally was just praying for a son i was like god i need to have a son you know grateful so 2020 has just been so great god has been answering my prayers and i'm forever thankful and grateful because he's a faithful god so yeah that has been my 2020 experience so far um my future plans is to migrate i want to i want to live in different countries um not just like for holiday um not a holiday kind of guy but yeah i don't mind going on holidays but uh i desire to actually live in different countries for a while uh, for a season you know that's just something that's on my heart and i feel that strongly um there is this um there, there's a heart of a missionary that's within me and, and it cries so loudly and I feel the heart of just moving around and being not being in the same place but yeah you know I just feel like um, there's so many things that God has placed in my heart concerning missions concerning um, the body of Christ and other cultures the specific cultures that God is really really um, plays on my heart to actually go and live with them and you know understand them and then bring God to them so yeah that's just something that's on my heart